Hello and welcome. How's everyone doing? I'm doing great. And the weather isn't as great anymore, so I'm more shooting or recording inside. And today's video is going to be about why do smartphones take such incredible pictures? What enables them to do that? I'm gonna explain to you in this video. You may have noticed that modern smartphones are capable to make awesome pictures, but how do they do it with their tiny lenses and sensors? Let me explain to you. The reason is called computational photography. What it is and how it works, I'm gonna tell you. Computational photography uses software to digitally enhance pictures. This is done in many ways. It's mostly used in smartphones compared to DSLRs or DSLMs. They have small sensors and tiny lenses compared to the large and fast lenses from a DSLR that can capture a lot of light. But a smartphone's processor is way, way more powerful than a DSLR's processor. So it can do way more processing. So let's go deeper how it works. Computational photography occurs automatically side by side when you open the camera app. The phone is analyzing the scenery or the faces, the time of colors, the light conditions. Then the phone applies some processing during and after the picture has been shot, which can drastically improve its quality. To do that, the phone uses techniques like image stacking. This technique is often used by smartphones. A few pictures are shot with different exposures for an HDR picture, for example. This happens so fast that you don't even notice it. This technique helps you to get better exposed pictures. Another technique is going to be pixel pinning. So you're taking a few pixels to make one, so it can capture more light. For example, a 108 megapixel sensor is going to have 9 pixels bin into one. So the sensor is going to be a 12 megapixel sensor. Artificial depth of field, which applies blur to the background for portraits, for example. This is often called portrait mode. For this to work, the phone has mostly two cameras. Some phones only used one, but try to find nowadays a phone with only one camera. The next thing is going to be color correction, sharpening and noise reduction. So the phone is going to analyze the shot to apply some color correction, adjusting the highs, the lows, then apply some sharpening and some noise reduction so it can remove as much as possible of the grain and color noise. Modern smartphones can make pretty nice pictures when it gets dark too. Then it uses a mode called night mode. Here it uses HDR image stacking to make multiple pictures with different exposures to improve pictures in low light conditions. I hope you like this little video. Don't forget to like so this video can spread to more people. A subscription to the channel would be delightful. See you in the next one.